So, yeah, I'm watching the Garcia and Haney card boxing, you know, fights and stuff like that. So far, the matches have not been that good. But overall, if you are a boxing fan, you're entertained because it's like we're sick of UFC every other week. Right. So to get a, a substantial card following, you know, up with UFC is any good for somebody like me. But then you also are getting Tyson and Paul in a few weeks, which is going to be nice. Right. But. I just wanted to ask y'all, who do you have for tonight? Now, at the time that I'm recording this, we're at the co-main event that just ended, which means that Haney and Garcia are going to go up. Um, the way it looks on the boards, it's um, Devin Haney's supposed to win. Um, and they have, unfortunately, Garcia at plus, 55, uh, plus uh, 550, I'm sorry. And I'm going with Garcia. I'm going with Garcia. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. The reason why I think so is because I think he's crazy enough to win it. And it'll be a split decision. It's going to sound crazy to hear. So I just want to get this out before it happens. So when it does happen, I'm like, hey, yo, I was right. It feel good to be right. But when I'm wrong, I'm just delete it anyway. <laughs> I'm joking. But nah, um, yeah, Devin Haney and Garcia, I want Haney to win. I want him to win in eight rounds, but anything is possible. And the way that they're kind of like, making Garcia a thing, not on just social media, but just in general, I wouldn't be surprised. So plus 550 sound like a crazy number. I'm just go ahead and throw a couple dollars on him. Not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I did. I, I put a couple dollars on him. So yeah. Also shout out to seeing Eddie Hearn tonight. Like that, that was dope to see him. He's actually live now. He's talking. So it's just good to have boxing on. Are you a boxing fan? I am. So hopefully we get a good main event. And if we don't, no big deal. I got other TV to watch. Happy 420, y'all. Peace.